everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer. And today is all about SPF. Uh, this video is sponsored by SkinStore.com. I've worked with SkinStore before. I love, I love their website. There's so many really unique products that I can get there and they always have great sales. And talking about sales, they've given me a code Jennifer A, which I will have in the description box below. All the products that I'm talking about today, you can get 25% off. There are exclusions on the 25% off, but all the ones I'm using, you can get that uh, discount and there'll be a bunch of others as well. Um, they were kind enough to send me these products, uh, incredibly kind of them. These are products for the most part that I've used before. <laughs> it was an opportunity to get more of them and I'm not gonna turn that down because I love these products and I think they, they work really well for me. Um, SPF is one of those things that we don't talk about that often. I mean, some people do, but it's not something I really talk about on a daily basis with my channel. Um, but it's actually <laughs> really important. And I, I'm laughing because we all talk about it. We all say things like, oh yeah, you gotta wear SPF. Oh yes, SPF. But a lot of us, and, and I'm including myself in this, uh, you know, turn to SPF like now, like May, June, July, August. You'd be like, oh, I'm gonna be outside. Um, you know, I, I need to consider wearing SPF. And, and, I, and honestly, SPF is something that we should be wearing all year round. It shouldn't be summer months. Um, if you live in a place like Las Vegas or Colorado, where I used to live, and you're very high up, the sun is very strong, very, very strong. And uh, frankly, it's even more important that you're wearing SPF. When I lived in Denver, <laughs> you don't realize how, how little air you have and how high up you are and how strong the sun is. Like when you go skiing in Colorado, it could be the middle of January. You can get burnt very, very easily. Um, so May is Skin Cancer Awareness Month. And uh, so Skin Stores is doing this promotion. But like I said, I think this is something that we should be paying attention to at all times. And for me, um, if you can't tell, and if you haven't watched my channel before, I'm very pale. Uh, so I, I have been my whole life more concerned um, with SPF than maybe some people. Now, it shouldn't be about your skin tone. Frankly, sun damage affects all of us. It affects everyone. And you can get all different types of skin cancer regardless of your skin tone. Um, and skin damage, which is another issue, uh, can occur to anyone. I have uh, an uncle who died at 39 of melanoma, skin cancer, and, um, you know, absolutely devastating. I've been very lucky, knock on wood, <laughs> not to have um, any uh, cancerous lesions or any moles or anything like that, but I do get checked out every single year. I did have something on my nose that was considered, um, I forgot what the word was, compromised, I think it was, compromised skin. Um, because to be honest, I think what happens is I put you know SPF all over my face, but sunglasses rub off right through here. Um, and that's where I you know got damaged skin. When I was a kid, uh, which was a very, very long time ago, SPF was not, like people put sunscreen on their kids, but it wasn't like it is today. And so when I was 12, I was 12? Yeah, I was 12, sixth grade. Um, we used to have, I live in Massachusetts. I grew up here in Massachusetts and we used to go to the Cape every summer. And I spent one summer morning uh, building sandcastles with my cousins. And I, have a, I had on a bathing suit and the bathing suit had no back to it. And I ended up with second degree burns all over my back. And later that day, like we did the sandcastle, and later that day we went to a market or something and I was saying to my mother and my grandmother, my back really hurts, my back really hurts. And my mom was like, you know, you know, you have kids, you're like, yeah, yeah, okay, stop. My grandmother, who had 13 children, yes, my, my mom is one of 13 kids, was like, you know, I think we should look at it. And my grandmother looked at it, she took like one look at it and she was like, you have second degree burns, we gotta get her like back to the house. And they actually took an aloe plant, this is the first time I learned about aloe, cut open an aloe plant, put aloe all over my back. And I was on my stomach with this stuff on my back for like, I don't know, like three days. And it was a, it was a severe burn. I didn't go to the hospital, but it was bubbled. It was disgusting. I mean, it was definitely second degree. And ever since that day, uh, for obvious reasons, I've been a little paranoid about SPF uh, because I don't tan, I burn. And as you can see on my face right now, my face is a little like pinkish and a little irritated. Um, that's pretty normal 
for my skin. Um, so my skin is also very sensitive. It's a great combination. So I'm pale and I'm very sensitive and I react to things. So I have spent time trying to find um, SPF that worked for me. Now there are tinted moisturizers that I really, really love that I did not pick up at Skin Score. We won't talk about today, but I've mentioned them and um, I, I'm a big believer in tinted moisturizers because I like to run out the door. Um, I put on my SPF and then I put on tinted moisturizer that has SPF in it. But I think people forget um, two things. One, to put it like in places you don't really think of, like when my hair is up, the back of my neck, which can get burnt really easily. Um, my things on my hands, the top of your feet, like, you know, stuff like that. When you go to the beach, you think about it, but when you're running around normally, I think a lot of us don't. So. Um, there's a couple products that I want to talk about today and like I said these are all uh, on the skinstore.com website and will be 25% off with the Jennifer A code. Two of them are chemical, two of them are mineral. I am not a dermatologist, I am not a doctor. I know there are various studies and issues and I understand all of that and if you don't like a chemical sunscreen I have the mineral sunscreens that you can um, you can look at and there's many more on uh, skinstore.com. They're not just these. Uh, I find that these work for my skin and they don't irritate me. So that's why I say I like them and they work for me. Um, they, you know, if you have problems though with a uh, chemical or you don't feel like you want a chemical sunscreen, then there will be mineral sunscreens. The purposes of today, I'm going to wear one of them. I'm going to show you on the video. Um, and while it's drying down, you'll see the other one. So let's start with the one I'm going to try on for you right now. First, let's pull the hair back. It's very important. Um, so I think a lot of us, right, when we think about sunscreen, we're always like, oh, if I put it on my face and then I try to put on foundation, there's going to be a problem. These do not have that problem. And you'll see in the video that's coming up with the chemical sunscreen, you can put it on and I did in real time, like wait <laughs> before I put the foundation on. There's no issues, um, which I think is great. I, that's just a, a huge plus for me. So. Um, the first one that I'm going to show you. So this is a mineral um, based sunscreen. It has alpha lipotic acid and visible, I don't know. <laughs> I'll put the information below, but this is Paracone MD. This is a face finishing and firming tinted moisturizer. This is what it looks like. It has titanium dioxide in it, 4.20%. Um, and this has an SPF of 30, okay? So um, the ingredients, the alpha lipotic whatever, is a fatty acid found in every cell in the human body. It reduces the appearance of lines, wrinkles, and enlarged pores over time. So if you use this every day, it's also a skincare uh, product. It, the the bisabolol is a skin brightening antioxidant. And then the mineral-based sunscreen is advanced SPF protection. So basically, um, it's a moisturizer with like a pearlescent kind of feel. Uh, look, so I use this usually underneath a foundation, even though it's a tinted moisturizer, but you can absolutely use it by itself. So um, this is what it looks like. It looks kind of funky, I'll be honest with you. Um, it does have a slight scent. That's what it looks like. You can see how it's like kind of pearlescent. So anyway, um, I take a lot of <laughs> a lot of this and slather it on my skin, okay? Because you need a lot of sunscreen. Um, if anybody tells you that you can just put on like a dab on your nose or something, n no, <laughs> no, you need a lot. Uh, it's like two finger lengths, like two fingers. Um, I over time have just kind of figured out like, well, how much I need, but you need a lot. Okay, so, um, which is another thing, which is why you need to find a foundation that works for you, not foundation, SPF that works for you, because if you find something that doesn't sink into the skin and like, I don't know, doesn't like settle and looks funky, you won't wear it. That's the thing, you won't use it. So um, these I find work really well. They sink into the skin and um, you can wear this one completely by itself. You'll see in a minute. I'll let it like sink. <laughs> I'll let it sort of sit uh, while we talk. All right, so that is the Paracone MD. And like I said, um, this one has titanium dioxide 
and you just apply it in circular motions. Um, micro capsules slowly release the pigment so they are blended into skin. Uh, you know, blah, 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 blah. It, it's just, it's a, it's a tinted moisturizer, but it's, it's a lot more than that. It, because it has firming properties, it has, like it finishes your skin really well. It's an SPF of 30 and it's a mineral sunscreen, so it has titanium dioxide in it. And what I usually do for this is I put it on my face like this, and then I put a foundation over it. I don't, um, which also has SPF in it. But I will admit, there's many times I run out the door, I don't have time. Um, and I'll just wear this because I feel like at least it's, I at least did something. Um, then the, uh, chemical sunscreen. So you should see a video that goes up now. And this is the La Roche Pose. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong because it's French. Um, it is a broad spectrum SPF 50 and it's an advanced UVA, UVB protection with cell ox shield never quite sure what these things are, but it's a high potent antioxidant complex with balkalin, vitamin C, and vitamin E in it. This is a chemical um, sunscreen and it has avobenzone, homosalate, octosalate, octosilene, and oxybenzone. Um, so you shake it really well. You apply 15 minutes before you go outside. You'll see, hopefully you're seeing all of this. Um, this will tell you to reapply every two hours. So if you're putting it on underneath your, you know, foundation, you're not doing that, but, um, and then, um, there are other, um, uh, properties in this particular, um, I guess it's, it's kind of like a serum. Yeah. It's like a serum. Um, so it has photostable sunscreens providing advanced broad spectrum protection. Uh, against UVA rays, and then the antioxidant complex, which is the Bacillin vitamin C and vitamin E, um, it says it's a highly powerful antioxidant complex acting as a second line of defense to help neutralize a wide spectrum of free radicals uh, by UV exposure. Uh, chosen for their synergistic effects, this new combination of antioxidants helps protect the skin from free radicals known to cause skin structure damage we can le lead to premature signs of skin aging, such as fine lines, wrinkles, and dark spots. Um, and it has this really nice serum texture. So you'll see in the video, hopefully it's showing up. Um, you put it on and it's, it's a really easy serum. It doesn't look like anything. And then, you, you know, I wait just a couple of minutes and I put my foundation on over it. So that, this is an SPF 50. That um, SPF, like I said, that is a chemical sunscreen. However, it is fragrance-free, paraben-free, and tested on sensitive skin. And why that's important, to me anyway, is because my skin is sensitive. So I feel like that, you know, I, and I've used it before skin stores and this, I've used this for quite some time. Um, it doesn't irritate my skin. So for people who are sensitive skin, people like myself, that is what I'm basing this on. I'm not a dermatologist. I'm not a doctor by any means. You should talk to your dermatologist, you should talk to your doctor, but these products work for me. I'm about to be 49 years old and I have rosacea and sensitive skin, very sensitive skin, and these I don't have a problem with. All right, so now we're back and you can see, can you see like it's given me like one, like a glow, right? And two, a little bit of a, a little bit of a tan. Like it kind of looks like I, I've been out in the sun. Like I have a little bit of a tan, a little bit of a glow, um, which you know I, I think is great. And I have done this a lot. Like um, when I go out to run errands or something, and I just want my skin, and I want an SPF, but I want my skin to look nice. I think this is perfect. Um, now, if you're gonna put foundation over it, I'm gonna use my um, Tom Ford because that's what I did in the other one. You'll see there's no problem. It's not like it's sticky. There's no, you know, weird um, cast. There's nothing like, it works fine. It's like you have on a little bit of a glow underneath your skin, makes your skin look kinda kind of glowy, 
which for me, you know, I like personally, kind of like a pearlescent. And I'll bring you in close so you can see it up close so you don't think, you know, it just looks good from far away. There you go. That was all real time. So, um, what I will say, like I said, the, the Paracone, the one I'm using now, it does have a slight scent. Um, I'm looking to see, I'm trying to figure out what exactly the scent is. It's very light and it dissipates really quickly. Um, but there is fragrance perfume in the Paracone. So just something to keep in mind. If you, if you really don't want any fragrance, then you're not going to like it. It's very, very light, but it's still there. And I know that's important to a lot of people. And if you're sensitive, you have sensitive skin and you don't like fragrance, but it doesn't, it doesn't disturb my skin. It doesn't bother my skin, but it could bother yours. The, the Roche Posey, the one that is the chemical, that does not have any fragrance in it. It's paraben free. Um, and like I said, it's sensitive on sensitive skin. Again, I don't have a problem with it. So let me bring you in close so you can see. I want you to be like really close so you can see how my skin looks. Um, and I did the same thing with the other video. I think it really gives a beautiful pearly glow to my skin. Um, and supposedly, uh, it minimizes the lines and wrinkles over time, but in the, while well, you're putting on, it makes your skin look plumper. I don't know if it does that necessarily, but, um, I think it looks good. So now I give it time to dry down. Like, so as you can see, it looks like kind of glowy. It's a little tacky, um, now. So I leave it for a while. Um, if I wasn't just showing you real time, cause I wanted you to know that you could do this quickly. In other words, you don't have to wait 20 minutes in between putting on the um, Paracone or the La Roche Posey to put your foundation on. You can do it quickly. I prefer to wait a little while, but I know how life is and sometimes you don't have time. So you can, like I just did, do it right away and it's gonna look, oh, I didn't rub that in. It's gonna look just fine, okay? So that's what I wanted you to see. So that's the face. I use a different, I use a different SPF on my body than I use on my face. Um, you don't have to do that, but I like using products that have um, skin uh, care in them uh, in addition to the SPF. Because I kind of feel like, why not get more? Like, why not, <laughs> why not get more? Uh, I don't know. That sounds maybe crazy, but I don't know. And then my skin on my body, I'm, I, I take care of the skin on my body, but I'll be honest. The skin on my body doesn't see a lot of sun. I don't wear shorts and like really like sleeveless shirts. It's just not who I am, first of all. Like, first of all, I live in Massachusetts. It doesn't get that hot. Even when I lived in Virginia though, I just, I don't, I'm not one of those people who feels comfortable showing a lot of skin. It's just, it's not a, you know, it's, it's no comment on anyone else who does. I just don't feel comfortable. So I, you don't see a lot of my body. Um, so it, I don't need to put SPF. Uh, a lot of me because it's covered by clothing. But when it does get hot or I'm going places that are hot, obviously I wear shorts and I wear t-shirts and that type of thing. So my arms and my legs need SPF. So again, I have two products, one that's chemical, one that's um, mineral. So the chemical again is La Roche Posey. Um, this is the same line. It's the Anthelios, and that's what the other one is, Anthelios as well. Uh, with the Celloc Shield, this is UVA and UVB protection. This has uh, thermal spring water in it, which is interesting. Uh, and it says suitable for sensitive, uh, sensitive skin, which is the same as the other one. This is uh, sport, so it is um, uh, water resistant. I think that's how, what they refer to it as. Uh, I wanna make sure. There's one is, is this one that's, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so this is a, oil-free, water-resistant, up to 80 minutes. Uh, Fragrance-free, paraben-free, allergy-tested, blah, 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 sensitive for uh, skin. So this has the avobenzene, homosalate, oxysalate, and octocrylene. Don't know. But anyway, that's what this is. Uh, this is an SPF of 60. It is face and body, so you can use this one. This is uh, SPF 50. Um, this has antioxidant, this is an antioxidant serum. It's got uh, the baculin, the vitamin C, and the vitamin E in it. Um, this one, I don't believe, I don't believe it has those things in it. 
I'll be honest. I'm not really sure. I don't think so though. Um, because I, I tend to just use this on my body, but you can use this on your face. Uh, and so let me just show you what it looks like. It's like a thick paste. And again, it goes in really easily. It has a scent, but it's not like, it's not fragrance scent. It's just the, the, the chemical ingredients and it, you don't smell it after like five seconds. Like it's that quickly. The other thing about this that's interesting, it has this thing that says this oil-free sunscreen with perlite and silica goes on dry and stays on skin to help absorb moisture, which I really find interesting. I don't really understand how that works, but I have to say my skin feels really smooth after I put it on, like more hydrated than I usually feel with lotion. I'm not sure how that works. Um, dermatologists, doctors out there can explain it to me, but I really like this product. Like it really, really works very, very well. The other one is the Organic Pharmacy. And the only place I've seen this is on skinstore.com. I'm sure it's at lots of other places, but I'm probably just not shopping them. Um, this has a lower SPF. This is an SPF of 30. It is UVA and UVB. Um, and it has marigold, rose hip, and shea butter. So again, it's it's very um, it's very uh, moisturizing because again, I'm really dry. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but I'm also I'm sensitive, I'm pale, and I'm dry. It's, it's great to be me. Um, and this has zinc oxide and titanium dioxide in it, and um, helps prevent sunscreen uh, sunburn, obviously. And you know you put it on your on your skin just like I just did. So let me show you what this one looks like. This one is a little bit more lotiony. The other one's more like like a thicker. Um, and again, this one feels more like a traditional lotion. Um, it takes a little longer to uh, penetrate. This one already is like dry and like super smooth. It's weird. It's like a it's the oddest feeling. I can't explain it. It's like it locks in moisture. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it's doing, but it feels, I wish I could let you, it's like super smooth. It's just strange. This is still kind of moist, uh, but this has the marigold rose hip and shea butter. So it smells like that. It smells nice, but if you don't like marigold rose hip and shea butter, you're, you're not gonna like it. Um, but it does work really well. It doesn't irritate my skin. Um, and I like the product. It, uh, it's also for face and body. You can use it on your face. Why I use these things separately, I don't know, but I just do. Um, uh, prevent sunscreen, uh, sunburn, like I said, apply 15 minutes before sun exposure, apply after swimming or sweating, every two hours, same idea. You know, you're, you're, you, you gotta keep reapplying these things if you're gonna get the most uh, efficacy from them. But I have to say, um, these products, I'd say the top three things. One, they're all SPF 30 or above. Um, I have SPF 30, 50, and 60. And again, all of these can be used on face and body, so you don't have to do them like I'm doing them. Um, two, some of these are fragrance-free and paraben-free, if that's important to you. Some are chemical, some are mineral, like I said. So I wanted to give you guys options. But I have very sensitive skin and I don't have any issues with these. And I know, like if you haven't watched my channel and you don't know me, that's pro you're probably like, yeah, yeah. Guys, I'm so, <laughs> I'm so reactive to everything that that in and of itself is worth its weight in gold. I just have weird reactions to stuff. So like my skin is very reactionary just to everything. It turns bright red if you touch it. So the fact that I can use these SPS without any problem, and then I can put foundation on that quickly over them and not have it pill, not have it separate, not have it look weird, it's not cakey, is just awesome. Absolutely awesome. Now, again, this is Skin Cancer Awareness Month, it's May, and, and I, I also know that a lot of us who live in areas where there's seasons are turning to like being outside more and we're thinking about SPF, but I hope one, that you will consider <laughs> wearing SPF all the time. It's just important to, to recognize that there's a lot of damage being done to your skin 
especially your face, um, that you don't see. And you know they have those cameras that show you like the skin damage that's underneath that you don't see? I promise you, at 49, um, when you're 20, you don't realize it. At 30, you don't realize it. But when you start getting into your 40s, the damage that is done to your skin that's already been done and now it's too late to change starts coming to the surface and you start to see it. And the hyperpigmentation and the spots and I mean all that comes out later and the wrinkles and the lines. Those are things that you can prevent if you wear SPF. Seriously, stay out of the sun, direct sun, and if you're in the sun, wear SPF. It's really, it's not that difficult. And I think your skin will thank you later. Um, again, I'm not trying to preach to anybody. You know, you all have to do whatever works for you. I'm just saying from a, uh, you know, from a medical standpoint, we do know that, um, you know, skin cancer is an issue and it's something you should be aware of. And then just from, let's be honest, vanity's <laughs> perspective, if you want your skin to look really good when you're 50 and 60 and 70, um, take care of it. One of the ways to take care of it is to use an SPF because it helps your skin um, protect itself from sun damage. That's it. That's all I'm saying. So these ingredients, I mean, these products, like I said, are available on skinstore.com with the code Jennifer A. You can get 25% off, which is awesome. And I stand behind all of these being products that uh, work for me that are good for my sensitive skin. And as you saw, in, you can see it in real time, work really well underneath a foundation, even if you're doing it quickly. So you won't have to worry about like, oh, you know, I wanna put my foundation on and it's gonna look f weird. It won't, it really won't. And this one is my favorite. Now I know this has fragrance in it and I know a lot of people don't like that, so I get it. But for me, I really like this product because I don't know, I just think it makes my skin look healthier, <laughs> like plumper, and it gives me a nice glow, and if I don't, if I really don't have time, and I'm not putting on SPF, and then I'm putting on foundation, and then I'm, this, I, I, I'm just, I wanna be honest, that's what I do. Uh, I know everyone should put on a full SPF, and then foundation, and but sometimes I don't, and I admit that. And when I don't, though, I at least put this on, and, I think it gives me a glow, it makes me look plumper, it gives me an SPF of 30. I really, really like it. So with that, <laughs> those are my thoughts for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you SkinStore.com for sponsoring this video and for um, sending me these products. I really do appreciate it. And um, you know, the next time you watch one of my videos and I say I already have my SPF on, it is either one of these that I'm using and um, it's just, you know, you get in the habit of putting it on and if, like I said, it works for you and it doesn't mess up the rest of your um, routine, you'll just use it because you'll just have it on your counter and it won't be any big deal. And that's, I have to say, that's practically, like that's probably one of the biggest reasons I like these other than the fact that it doesn't irritate my sensitive skin. But my life is so busy and my schedule is so hectic I can't have something in it that like takes up more time or messes up other things because I just don't have time for that. And I'm sure you don't either. So I think all of these products work really well in that regard. So thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. And check out skinstore.com and the code down below so you can get these products and others at 25% off. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I hope to see you in another video really soon.